I certainly see it plenty with sports, and you certainly know it exists with other entertainment genres. Weirdness and just weirdos doing really weird, off-the-wall, creepy stuff that goes beyond just being, you know, eccentric in a redeeming way or cute in its own way to just really kind of sad and pathetic behavior. And wrestling is certainly not immune from this by any stretch of the imagination. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's the worst, but it's certainly not towards the rear of the pack. So in 2021, can wrestling fans please stop being so damn weird? And what do I mean by weird? It's any number or variety of things. There is absolutely nothing wrong with liking professional wrestling. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing wrong with that at all. But if you start getting to the point where you get so emotional and start working yourself up into such a lather that you want to fight people, threaten to kill people, or do any number of other things of physical harm to others or yourself, please, for the love of God, stop that behavior. That's not normal. That's not rational. And that's not productive for anybody. Horrible. There is nothing wrong with being a fan of certain wrestlers and classifying yourself as a mark for them. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But when you start creating fake accounts to pretend to be wrestlers, you have problems. When your Twitter bio, for example, says, it's Sasha Banks season, that's my future wife. Stop it! It's one thing when the ladies take to Twitter and talk about how they want Roman Reigns' as throat babies. Like, that's understandable from the female perspective. But you don't sit there seeing a bunch of them go into their Twitter bios talking about how they want to take Roman's throat babies every day for the rest of their lives. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. It is the tribal chief after all. But you got all these people that pretend to be wrestlers or pretend to be their number one fans. Like, to this point of absolute obsession, it's not healthy behavior. Stop. Just stop it. Like, that's the type of weird crap that wrestling doesn't want to be associated with. What else could you talk about? The people that brag about somebody following them or somebody retweeting them or sharing their post. Like, who gives a crap? In no way, shape, or form should you measure your life's worth based off of some wrestler that more likely than not you've never met and very well will probably never meet or never interact with on any type of personal level, retweeting or liking or following you. Your life is worth more than that. And I promise you in a number of these cases, if you actually did interact with these people on a day in day out basis in your everyday regular lives or even met them in your regular life just once, a lot of you would probably be disappointed. So stop being so goddamn dang weird and attaching your value in life, your value as a wrestling fan to them retweeting you or following you. Stop it. That's weird. Why let somebody have so much headspace in your mind when they devote absolutely none of that energy to you? None of it. What else is weird behavior? Oh, wasn't it 2020 this happened? If you're obsessed over somebody to the point where you think it's a good idea to break in somebody's home, don't do that. Don't stalk people. That's just weird. Also, what else is weird? Every time you see something happen where some wrestler gets into it with a fan or a website, here come those nameless, faceless hacks that try to sit there and hack into everybody's Twitter and their social media and everything else. That's just weird behavior. Get a life, you fools. Stop it. Stop. Stop. It's unbelievable.
unbelievable. Those people that will sit there as well and watch your videos and the only thing they ever say is something shitty about you and shitty about them. Like that is patently weird behavior, isn't it? Isn't it? If you don't like somebody so much and you hate them so much or hate their content or hate what they're about or hate what they talk about, hate their viewpoints, why the fuck would you watch all of their damn videos or follow them on social media or do any of that crap? Like imagine facing your fundamental purpose in life around trolling people. And a lot of you aren't even very good at it. You're lazy. That's weird. Stop it. People that create like parody accounts of me. If they're funny, cool. If they're not, that's weird. Stop it. And if somebody calls themselves my son, you don't want to be my son. Stop that. That is not normal behavior. At least make your parody account good if you're going to do one. That's all I should ask. That's all that anybody should ask. Because parody can be a sincere form of flattery. See Weird Al Yankovic's entire four plus decade catalog of career. But Jiminy Christ, people try to pretend to be you or pretend to be related to you. Like this is just weird. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. And, and worst of all, well, let's create a new rule in 2021. You don't create fake Twitter accounts to pretend to be the son of a now deceased wrestler. That is the epitome of sad and pathetic. That is the epitome of weird. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. Stop. What the hell would possess somebody to think that it's a good idea or it's cool in any way, shape, or form to create a minus one Brody Lee Jr. Twitter account and attempt to prostitute it out there like it's the real thing. You're impersonating and imitating a minor, you jackass. I don't care if you're a minor or a legal adult. That's just sick and weird, stupid behavior. Why would you do that? I mean, Christ, it's bad enough with professional wrestling. It's gotten such a stigma over the decades that you have to constantly overcome all of this crap that's associated with it. It's for nudes, it's for that. Oh, but y'all will sit there and fucking cosplay damn comic books, but that's normal, rational behavior, right? People will sit there and mock professional wrestling, but they'll try to tell you how great keeping up with the Kardashian sluts is and all this other housewife's garbage. Like, wrestling's not that bad. Wrestling, in a lot of ways, has a lot more redeeming qualities than a lot of these other forms of entertainment. And, you could say now, especially over the past couple of decades, wrestling doesn't necessarily try to present itself like it's the real deal, legit thing. These other reality shows that are all scripted fake bullshit try to still sell you on the fact that they're real. And unlike wrestling, where the marks are now smart enough to realize that the wolves being pulled over their eyes and they're okay with that. You got people that think this shit is actually real. They think it's legit. They think it's as legit as the Kardashian curse on NBA players. That is real. That show, all these other reality shows, bullshit. But when you sit there and obsess over female wrestlers to the point that it be, goes beyond just a crush to it's an obsession and stalking-like behavior. That's weird. Stop it. When you sit there and try to pretend to be other wrestlers, stop that. When you sit there, oh, here's another one. Here's weird behavior. When you get into it with somebody online, don't sit there and post their families, the person you're fighting. Don't sit there and post that person's family's address online. That's weird and stupid. And by the way, don't even post them person you're feuding with's address. That's horseshit. That's weird. 
Can we agree in 2021 to cut out some of this weird crap? Stop with all the wannabe wrestler accounts. Stop sitting there and getting so emotional over wrestling to the point where you want to fight people, whether cyber in real life. Stop stalking people. Stop trying to show up at the goddamn house. Stop sitting there geeking out every time somebody retweets or favorites your tweet or anything like that and then putting it in your Twitter profile. To me, that screams out, I'm sad, I'm pathetic, I'm weird, and I don't have any value in my life. What do you do? So start acting like it. You see all these wrestling fans, too, that always sit there and tweet. And I'm sorry, I know this is going to piss some people off, but realistically, like we got to call this out, too. All these ones talking about, my life isn't worth it. But yes, it is. Stop being a fucking baby and do something about getting your life better. If you need to ask for help, then ask for help. Stop going around posting on social media about you're frustrated with life and you don't know if you can do it anymore. That's pussy behavior. Cut it out. That's weird. He said, ask for help. Stop trying to get people to feel sorry for you and ask people to help you better your life. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But all these people all throughout social media posting about, oh my God, I can't take it anymore. My life is so hell. Oh, shut the hell up. Like who posts that for the world to see? That's weird too. That's certainly not exclusive to just the professional wrestling world, but it's still weird nonetheless, so stop doing it. And most importantly of all, when you have a young man whose dad just died less than a week ago, how about, here's a crazy idea, how about you don't create fake social media accounts and pretend to be the minor? Ah, wrestling fans are so freaking weird. No, it's not just that. Wrestling fans should be smarter and should be better because they know the stigma that comes along with this crap. You know? Like, be smarter about it. Be better about it. In some cases, and yes, it's coming from the guy on YouTube telling you about it. Like, stop being so pathetic. Can we just stop being so weird in 2021? Is that too much to ask?